second day. Oh, you fucking asshole! You can't hit me like that! Fuck you! This is some, this is some bullshit right here. Look who's back, guys. Yep, that's right, folks. It's me, Mr. Cypher77 here. Whatever it is. And yes, it's been like a month that we have not done this LP, so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna come back and uh, try to get this over with, hopefully. So, yeah. There's been some confusion in the delay that I have to explain, and here's some stuff I have to say. First off, this emulator somewhat, you know, lost all of its data via reset or something. And therefore, we had to start, like, start the first two parts all over again, like the stuff that we did in the process. And therefore, yeah, you know, make it all the way right here so we can come back into this game and head, head to progress where we were. We just basically did, like, everything else that we did in those two parts, and yeah, more so. So yeah. Also, there's also one more thing I want to ask. I mean, no, not ask, but add. And it's that the keyboard support that we had on the second episode, remember that, where we decided to change, you know, the controller to keyboard instead of touchpad? Well, guess what? That ain't really working right now. And I have no idea why. And I think it has to do with this update thing, because back then, like, at March, we had, like, you know, you know, it was, we were on iOS 14 back then, like, at March, but then we updated the system, and it's now on iOS 15, and suddenly the keyboard support doesn't even work when it sets so in that emulator. I just don't really get why. I just really find it really weird. So we ended up having to do this game on touchpad. So it looks like we're going to have to stay with this whole thing with touchpad for the whole time. Oh well. I guess it is what it is, unfortunately. Honestly, it would have been better if you didn't update the goddamn thing. Otherwise, shit like this would have happened. There's even more to come, and another reason is that I was too busy, you know, watching anime and cartoon mostly. There's a lot that I've watched so far, because I somewhat got interested into watching stuff than playing games. I don't know why. That's just me. Unless it's a Sonic game, but I don't know. But again, that's just me anyway. So, yeah. That's what happened you know, recently for this whole goddamn month. Just kept watching and watching and watching and all that. And yeah, that's what happened. So yeah. It got to the point where I couldn't have any time to play you know, games, which really disappoints me because I want to you know, spend some time on that. But nope. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. So I decided to do it right now. Oh well. But thankfully for me, I have a lot of free time. So, for like a whole day or so. So, I can do some stuff for a bit. And once you know, my time is up, I'll be going back to watching stuff. Unless I decide to like, take turns or stuff. Which yeah, I probably should have in the first place. But I got other games that I want to play, so heads up, folks. If you're curious on what the game Mr. Cypher has been also been playing, he's been playing Sonic and the Black Knight and 06, and he's probably going to plan on doing those games. <laughs> yeah, true. 
I'll get my own two cents on those games. I haven't finished them yet, so... Yeah, but I'm going to LP them anyway, no matter what. Because... I don't know. Just felt bored. <laughs> what to do and all that. Oh well. And then somehow my channel somewhat got hacked somehow. I have no idea why. But, eh. I digress. Yeah, that's been all the stuff that's been going on uh, recently. Especially the Sonic 2 movie, which uh, I'd say it was good. I, I don't really... No, not really good. It's alright. It was better than the first movie with a lot of improvement. And I gotta say... It's a lot of great props that they did. So, yeah. Oh, so... Ah, oh, I see. So, I guess we can't go over here until we get that bridge mended. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. The Sonic 2 movie did improve a lot. And who knows? It might slap the Mario movie. <laughs> I bet it can happen. Well, we don't have any info for the Mario movie yet, so who knows for that question. And, uh... Well, and then we got Origins, Frontiers, and Prime. We haven't got any info for both Origins and Prime. As for Frontiers, okay, I think we already know about that, but, yeah. I wouldn't really mind how Origins would be. I mean, it'd be cool if they had an online multiplayer, but I don't know if they're gonna bring it or not. But at least we're gonna have CD, you know, in there, so, I mean, that's something. And as for Prime, I don't know when will that come. I don't know. But I got a lot to say for that, but that's a different day for a different topic. For what I have to feel about it. And, well, but once Prime's, you know, release date comes out, I bet they're gonna, like, shove out all the episodes since it's Netflix, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna probably rewatch Sonic X. I mean, heck, it is the first anime I watched, and I haven't even finished it for like a whopping nine years. Fuck me. Go scratch that. There's more other stuff I haven't really completed, like Ultimate Spider Man and Adventure Time. I do remember those shows, but never got to finish them. So, fuck me as well. Well, as other shows, but man, it's already been like eight minutes, and we've already been talking about the recent stuff or what's been going on. Jesus Christ! Also, quick question: Is it really true that Kimi Moore thinks that Sonic should have died in the '90s? Yeah, he did. Like, back then, when I, you know, liked Ankapataku back then, you know, there were a lot of stuff I do agree with, but in some cases, I do disagree with some stuff. This was one of a kind, and it really cringed me out as a Sonic fan. I mean, he doesn't hate on Sonic, that's one thing I know. I mean, he likes Genesis Sonic games, whether if it's Sonic 1, 2, 3 and Knuckles, yada yada yada. But Jesus Christ, when it comes down to the 3D Sonic games, like the 2000s era, I'm counting Sonic Adventure as well, even though it's not a 2000s game. But who cares, I'm just gonna add it anyway, because it's the it's a 3D Sonic game, so what do you expect? But let me get to, to the point. Well, he considered the adventure games bad, which I have no idea. I don't think he really explained it, but... I mean, the only things he liked were, like, the Sonic Shadow and Chow Garden stages, and yeah, I agree, they were really fun. But he never really, you know, talked about the other ones, like the Tails, Eggman, or the Knuckle Brood stages. The fuck? Well, he does enjoy Heroes and Shadow, which, yeah, they're fun games. I have played Heroes, but I never got to finish that game. I might have to do an LP on that and get it done. And as for Shadow, oh, that's actually one of my favorite Sonic games. 
and definitely it would be my 6th gen favorite games, pretty much. But yeah, that game really took me a while to finish, because there's like 10 endings in this, and it took me a while to finish up the levels and all. Yeah. But with a lot of days passed, I managed to finish it up, so yeah, pretty cool. I do enjoy that game. It did took me two hours to finish Devil Doom, you know, the Devil Doom boss, and I was playing this on Dolphin iOS. It took me like two hours to finish up the boss, and yeah, my fingers were hurting so hard. Yeah. It's unlike playing a controller, so yeah. Damn. And this last one right here is this. The 360 Sonic games aren't good. They did not translate well to 3D. He said 338 and you know, 380. Zero, my bad. But I'm gonna assume it's the 360 PS3 era of games because they have games like 06, Unleashed, and Generations. Unlike the Wii Sonic games, which they're a lot different. And if I do remember easily, you know, from one of his roast live streams, yeah, he doesn't like 06. Though I don't know if he even played that game, I don't know. If he did, then, uh, okay, but, uh, I don't know. But yeah, I do get why he hates 06, and I'll probably do an LP of 06, so yeah, let's see how it goes. Just for fun. So yeah, I'll probably have to you know, start editing and shit. But then you have Unleashed in Generations, and I don't know why, but this is some bad taste. Like, legitimately. Unleashed in Generations are really fun games. Like, legitimately. Mostly, it's Unleashed. But are they really badly translated to 3D? Hell no. I don't think they are, really. Like, what the hell? <laughs> That's laughable if they think so. And don't tell me that he doesn't like the Werehog. I don't know if he doesn't like the Werehog or not. I don't know about that. If he hates the Werehog, then that's another shitty taste counter. Right there. <laughs> what the fuck? And in that same live stream, the roast live stream, one of its, where he talked about 06, he actually ignored Generations and Unleashed. Like, that dude he was trying to roast was mentioning Generations and Unleashed. Which, I'd say that was a really cool, you know, fact right there, where Sonic was fighting Dark Gaia and the Time Eater. Uh, along with probably Sonic's generation, blah, blah, blah. But Kimimura legitimately ignored Generations Unleashed feats that the dude said. I don't even think he even played those games. Those games are completely fun. Like, what the heck? Unleashed being the peak. And to be perfectly honest, the PS3 360 games of Sonic are way fun to play than the Wii games of Sonic. Because when it comes to those four Sonic platformer games like Secret Rings, Black Knight, Unleashed, and Colors, uh, for Secret Rings, damn, I really find Secret Rings way too annoying to play. And I couldn't beat it because the game is too annoying. Black Knight, eh, I played that game. It was alright. It has small bit problems, but eh, I don't really have much of a big deal with it. But I'm playing this on Dolphin Emulator. I do have a hard time beating the bosses, but eh, at least they're easily fun to play and easily beatable. Dolphin Emulator, that is the Wii Remote, blah blah blah. Unleash Wii PS2, which is a game I already did back then. Eh, really fun game. It isn't like on par with the other one, but hey, it's still a fun game to play, even though people prefer the other, which I do agree that the PS3 360 version is better, but hey, this one is also good too, not gonna lie in my opinion. And as for Colors, eh, it's the same gameplay as Unleashed, and I'd say Colors is overrated in my opinion. Damn, nice job. You definitely cheated that one, did ya? That's right, I definitely cheated that shit right there. No questions asked. <laughs> Just snuck in and took that 1,000 points and then caught up and boom. That was a really tricky mission, not gonna lie. Hold on a moment. Is there anything else that Kimimura has talked about for Sonic? Nope. 
that's pretty much it. He didn't talk about the 2010 games. He didn't talk about the Wii games. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Just those. Ah, I see. Huh, what is this for? A tail or a tongue? Oh, is that a one for Yoshi? Oh, okay. I see. That would access to here, huh? Okay, then. Oh my god, I don't even know what to do in this. Fuck. I'm gonna have to look it up or something. Yep, despite it being a blind let's play. Yep, I had to cut this off because I didn't know what to do, so I had to look it up. And yep, apparently, we have to do this apparently. Which... Yeah, apparently, there's a mechanism right there. Yeah, basically. And... It's probably it's it's pretty much something you have to do in this, so yeah. Oh, this is the one. Uh, I think you have to remove the negative ones on this one. I think. Okay, this sounds fun. Yep, it's pure timing, so yeah. Okay, it's one down. Oh, we can't shoot. Oh, okay, I see. So we gotta do it in like an order. Like Bowser and then Eggman. Bowser Jr. and Metal Sonic. Oh, oh, never mind, okay. I guess it does count if you hit the ones that aren't the, you know, just don't pick the ones that aren't the same, I guess. Alright, there we go. Nice! Gets get anything but a the no skill thing. Oh, okay. Huh. So I guess we don't need to pick a pick character, I guess. Eh, okay. Oh, there we go. Um, we did it. <laughs> this is like, you know, this is like a roulette, I guess. The roulette edition of this. Lol.
Quick question. What did you do in your day off? Yeah, I kind of got bored. And, you know, recently I just watched Bleach. Uh, just watched, you know, two episodes, pretty much. And speaking of that, they were announcing the Bleach 2022 anime that they announced. Poor Kimibora, he won't be able to watch that shit. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's no surprise that it's actually coming out in 2022 instead of 2021. I don't know. Maybe it was the COVID pandemic? I don't know. I guess that might have been the reason. <laughs> Other than that, it sucks for him that he doesn't get to see it. Well, I think if I remember correctly, I don't really think he, you know, finished it up or something. I don't know. Which is that I just don't remember, but I think it was something like that. Either way, he's gonna be sad that this is already announced right now, and he's stuck in his prison cell for like 20 years. <laughs> he's gonna be stuck in the darn past. Though there is another anime that I'm looking forward to, and it's the Ruby Ice Queen Dumb anime that has been announced and honestly I'd be looking forward to it at one point but I'll watch it just to piss Amy Moore off <laughs> oh yeah I do remember him attacking one fish mouth opinion on Ruby and him saying that he doesn't know Jack I mean one fish mouth doesn't know Jack about Naruto and Bleach I wasn't really the biggest fan of Naruto and by the way I did watch one episode of it and eh I got bored of it yeah, I really did. It's just, it's it's too slow. That's my problem for Naruto. Too slow. I didn't know you watched Naruto. Well, my brother wanted to watch that, and guess what? He did. He found it boring as well. He found a lot of anime boring. <laughs> Not to lie. But hey, that's going to be the anime I'll be looking forward to. Probably the only one, I guess. I don't know. But hey, it is written by uh, the Madoka Magica writers, I think. And me personally, I have never watched Madoka Magica. Some would say it's good, some would say it's bad. And eh, I'll still watch it anyway, maybe one day down the line, but not yet. Not really yet. Well, since it's written by those guys, well, he's probably gonna shit on it because he doesn't like Sailor anime. Yeah, actually, that's pretty true. I can understand his hate on Sailor Moon. I don't really care about Sailor Moon, to be honest. I don't really give a shit. King Moore is gonna be like, You have the worst taste in anime! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I sure you would say that to me. I'm just gonna respond to him and say, Nah, you have the worst taste in life because you suck at dating. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm ready to watch another romance anime a little soon, so yeah, looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Yo, Cypher, have you even saw the the Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse trailer, blah, blah, blah? Hmm, I'm not really so sure. But I'm going to say no, I guess. Heck, I don't even have plans to even watch the Across the Spider-Verse because I haven't even watched Into the Spider-Verse yet, so... I don't know about that. I, I, like, I don't know about that, to be honest, so... No... Though, I might rewatch the Sam Remy Spider-Man movies, because I want to rewatch those, and you know what, maybe I'll finish up The Amazing Spider-Man 1, I haven't watched that, and really 100% completely finish Homecoming, you know, Spider-Man Homecoming, so that way I can clear up all the Spider-Man movies out of the way, so yeah, pretty much. Crap, I really hate this part. It's annoying. 
Like, your timing needs to be very, very, very good. Otherwise, it's gonna fuck it up. Crap. Well, I, I, I guess it's fine, I guess. Whatever. Like, the shooting stuff, like, exists in the London Olympic Games and later on. I think. I don't know. But, I don't know why you have to do this in the TS version. They never really did this in the Wii version at all. Which I find that very odd. That sharp shooting part will be something Kimimura will lose at. <laughs> I think so too. He probably would fail at that with his piss poor reactions. Oh great, here we go again. Damn it. Oh come on, it hit it. Okay, we got one. Wow, really? You got to shit me. I managed to get two. Once again. Well, great. Got some catching up to do. Wow. Peach is already in the leaves. Okay, it isn't that far. Okay. Well, at least that's something. Okay, we're almost there. Yep. We're in the lead, so we should be able to win this in time. Yeah. And boom. Done. <laughs> and now that we got all the crystals, we should be able to advance to the next area. So, let's get this out of the way, folks. Oh, look what we have here, guys. It's the King of Koopas. Or I should call him the King of Gaming. <laughs> okay, whatever. I'm just joking around. <laughs> the King of Positivity. Or Stupidity, whatever it is. You need to be taught a lesson! Now that's something Nintendo girl would say. <laughs> that means something. Okay, hold on. Uh, what are the controls of this? Okay, A button is to jump and B to use the mushroom. Okay, gotcha. Okay, we got this out of the bag. This is basically like a boost to win gameplay. <laughs> Sonic the Leash with PS2 edition. Gotcha. 
happy guns. Boost to win. And there we go, we won. Nice. And therefore, the king of positivity got defeated. <laughs> So you still haven't walked into the Spider-Verse yet? Yep. <laughs> I know, right? It's hilarious. And I still haven't got to it yet. Though I have seen clips of it, to be fair. Uh, the clips I have, you know, ended up spawning up was while I was watching Death Battle. One of them happened was Miles vs. Static. Another was Spider-Gwen vs. Batgirl and Satana vs. Scarlet Witch. It didn't really appeal to me at all. Like, it didn't really, you know, got my attention to it anyway while I was looking at the clips of it, while they were analyzing the set characters and all that. It just didn't really to me, nor it got to my interest at all. I mean, I kind of felt like watching it at one point, but at the same time, I didn't really feel like watching it on the other side. I don't know. That's just me. It just didn't really appeal to me at all. Congratulations! Okay, now we can access to the next world. Alright! Whee! Okay, I'm gonna stop. Oh, wow. This is like going to Atlantica or something. <laughs> Lol. Oh, and there's Yoshi. So, once we get him, we can do that. Cool. Well, it's not really gonna crack, wall. <laughs> I kind of want to get modern Nickelodeon out of the way because, from my look from my list of the watch list of stuff I want to watch for Nickelodeon. Only one cartoon for Nickelodeon from the modern stuff that I plan to watch, outside of Team and T 2012 and the Kung Fu Panda cartoon, whatever it is. Yeah. And if I finish that one, then that finishes up that, and then I got the rewatching stuff out of the way left. And there's only one cartoon I'd be interested to rewatch for the modern cartoons and all stuff, and it's Tough Puppy. So, yeah. And if I can complete that one, you know, complete rewatching that, then I'm pretty much going to be done with watching Nickelodeon nowadays for, for the modern stuff. Just going to be watching classic stuff for Nickelodeon nowadays, if I can finish up those. So, I kind of really hope to clear that out of the way, so, you know, I could, you know, do something, watch something else, you know, watch other stuff and try to get them out of the way. And, yeah, move on and probably watch uh, Netflix and Adult Swim, hopefully, because it's about time for the cartoon stuff to, you know, to die off very soon. Only those are the only places to live in for the cartoons nowadays. Oh, great. What do you have here? It's the fat fuck Kimi Moore's trap with them. What? What? Where did you get this joke from? What? Hello, everybody. It is I, Kimi Morris Trapadel here, everybody. You want me to do hello, everybody, whatever it is, and my big the cat impression? Well, here it is. 
Well, hello everybody. It is I, Big the Cat here today. And today, we're going to do this mission here, everybody. Oh, now we're doing some fun. I just realized the wall. Well, this is gonna be fun. Holy balls. We're actually doing skiing right now. The way how it would look like in the Wii. This is amazing. Whoa. doing this one. I'm supposed to like hit the nets or something? Hmm, hold on a moment. This? Oh, oops. Wait. This? Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, I see. So we're supposed to hit the nets. I see. Okay, I see why. Okay, good. Okay. We're getting hang of it. Right, one more. Nice. Okay. Oh, wow. We were almost there to that. You know, we were almost done with this. Holy balls. Nice job beating Mr. Positivity's mission right there, Mr. Cypher. I thought that looked like a pizza for a second, lol. No, Big, we don't want to play with you, dude. Just get the fuck out of here. Nobody doesn't want to play with Kimimura's trap, pal. Well, Kimimura does suck at games anyway. <laughs> what do you expect? So this is just timing, I guess. Damn it. Whoops. Yeah, you do need to time that right. What the hell? I let go of it right now. Really? God, like, this is fucking lacky as shit when it comes to emulation of this. Yeah, my phone can't even handle this fucking lag of the DS. It can handle all the other stuff, but not this. And it's one of them, actually. There we go. I had to let go of this early. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Speaking of that, I think it would be funny if you more play, you know, the so like any of the Sonic games, like Adventure 1 and 2, Sonic Unleashed, mm, Sonic 06, cause why not, and the first two Rush games. <laughs> that would be so funny if you played those games. <laughs> you would get fucked so hard. Heck, I don't even think you would be able to survive the Sonic Adventure 2 levels. <laughs> They're so fun to play, but he might suck at them so hard, it would be laughable. <laughs> Imagine he even played Eggman Land. That'd be like a pain in the dick for him. 
or the end of the world of Sonic 06. You gonna rage quit DSP style. Oh, oops. Oh, fuck me. Well, this is a blind let's play, so what do you expect? Oh, we have another maple tree right there. The word lurge comes from the French word for sled. Lurges were originally used throughout snowy parts of Europe for freight, transport, and recreation before assuming their current incarnation, incarnation as a competitive sport. gonna go and grab Yoshi and I think once that I'll call this episode an episode so yeah we're almost getting to our ending point right here so yeah okay just to let you know I you know fucked up this mission Therefore, I decided to, you know, cut this part out, and yeah, so this is my second attempt on doing this, so I'm just going to use a speed character because, you know, I tried Knuckles and it didn't really work out pretty well, so I'm just going to, you know, use a speed type character to get over with, so yeah. Overlapping his voice with me. Come on, come on. 
Yep, we totally broke this. We already got this in the bag. No questions asked. Okay then, we already got that down out of the way, so now we can play as Yoshi and then do those missions and all that. So, with that, um, I can call an episode right here. Alright. <laughs>